Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to another puzzle vlog. We are going over the next couple days. I'll bring you along, show you the things I'm doing puzzle related, some things may not be, and we're just gonna get into this. You just saw me working on a Springbok puzzle that is just released. I'll link them down below. I'll show you the other one that I did as well, but it is a tricky one. I'm not quite done. Hopefully I can finish it in this vlog and do some other puzzles. So what I need to do now, hold on, let me prop you up. Okay. So I have you on my little tripod thing here for my phone, and I just want to talk you through some things that I'm thinking about doing in this vlog in case you want to jump ahead to different timestamps. First up, things I need to do. One, I need to finish that puzzle, so we'll do that together. I have some puzzle mail that I need to go through. I need to clean this puzzle space because it is a mess. Yesterday, Dave and I were in the garage. We were just doing a little bit of cleanup because the past owners left a lot of stuff here. In our garage, we actually have like a full kitchen cabinet set um, along the walls and it's completely empty. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna use that space to put some puzzles that I need, just need to store, don't necessarily need to have on display. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I also need to go to the puzzle library, have a stack there that needs to be returned. Some things I might donate, but also, there's a new homeless shelter in the area and um, they are looking for puzzles. So I might get some puzzles together for that purpose um, and a bunch of different piece counts. So um, someone's going to be picking those up probably the next few days. So yeah, that's what my plan is so far for this video. Um, of course, we'll probably do some puzzling. I will show you what my puzzle table is looking like right now. This is, it's really messy. Let's just see what that looks like. So this is the state of my puzzle table at the moment. Um, just like a lot of random things. We had this puzzle that I did last night um, called Mixtape, I believe, or Cassette, something like that. It's just a small little 200 piece, super cute. Did it when the lighting wasn't the best, but I still was able to finish it. And this is like the perfect size for this little tray, which is awesome. So I'm gonna put that away. Um, I have just like random papers. That's for a Facebook group giveaway, which will probably be done by the time this is up. This is the puzzle I'm currently working on from Springbok. This is part of their new collection for April. And look how bright and colorful this is. It's definitely a challenge. Lots of black and green left. I did the red section and that was tricky. So I'll work on this some more. I'm not sure if I'll finish it in this video, but that's the plan. Um, I also did this one from them recently, which was so much fun. Love this one. Um, wasn't too difficult, but wasn't super easy either. I feel like perfect difficulty, 500 pieces, just lots of color and was very bright. I loved it. Um, I also just have like lots of random Easter trash around me that I need to just put away. Lots of just like filming equipment and such over here. And yeah, this room is just a mess. I'll also show you the rest of this room just because it would be fun for a before and after. I need to move one set of puzzles though because they're not released yet from Wentworth. So let me move those and then I'll show you the rest of the room. Down the stairs, we have some new, um, these little backdrop things that I can use for Instagram. We have a box of puzzles. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, this is the state that I just showed you right now, which is just, just messy. Um, we have a backpack that I need to empty that has like puzzle stuff in it from the convention. Um, over here, ran out of space giant stack of puzzles because I ran out of space. Um, just puzzles and random puzzles kind of everywhere. Um, this is the pile of puzzles I'll probably donate. Um, we have a pile that is from the library and just, you know, it's not the most organized room right now and it just makes it difficult for me to sit there and puzzle when I know that there's chaos around me. So need to work on this over the next couple days and make it a little bit more presentable, but also a lot more functional, because right now, this situation just stresses me out. So let's clear off the puzzle table as much as I can. I'll leave the puzzle that I'm currently doing on there, but that alone will just make it seem a lot better. I'll also show you the, the little box of puzzles that I got from Puzzle Warehouse, and that's the plan for now. So let's just do a little pickup. So 
So it still needs to be like wiped down, but I'll do that after I finish that puzzle. But it looks so much better, cleaned up over here as well. And I just have this pile that I need to go through, which was from the convention. And yeah, let's now go through this box just so I can like pick it up off the floor and I'll show you some of the new things I got. Okay, so I have this box here that I've just been like housing some new things that arrived while I was gone at Nationals. The first thing that I had gotten was that cassette puzzle, which I'll link anything I can down below. But I also got this one here. It's from the Puzzle Moments line by Ravensburger. And it is super cute. I feel like I've seen this image quite a bit. It's just a bunch of colorful parasols, 200 pieces, just fun little nighttime treats. And I like them. Next up, we have this one here. It's called Beautiful Butterflies. The artist is John Stewart. And it is 500 pieces. Look at this one. It is so springy. Um, you just have three giant butterflies, lots of big flowers, and it's a circular puzzle. So I feel like this one would just photograph really beautifully. Loved the image a lot, and I'm excited for that one. I also got this one from Suns Out, which I feel like Suns Out for me is a brand I always overlook because it just seems so traditional, but I like some of their newer images. Um, this one here is called Sewing Rainbow. It's a gradient rainbow puzzle in very like basic primary colors. We have like, of course, um, green and some pink, but very vibrant colors. And it's just a bunch of like bobbins and thread and buttons and lots of different sewing tools. So I thought this one was super cute and it's only 500 pieces. So I think it'll be pretty easy. And then finally, I got this one. It is by Eurographics, and I just thought the image looked very like calming. And I've been really wanting a hammock for the backyard, so this is why I got it. Um, but it's called Hammock with a View, and it just has like this nice cottage scene, very similar view to the one I did recently called Morning Early Morning Fishing by them. Um, but we have like a hammock with some water, nice little view. We have a doggy here, super cute image. I just felt like it was a nice, like relaxing, calm puzzle. So those are the ones that are coming into the collection and we're going to put those away, get rid of the box and yeah, we'll see what else is on the agenda. All right. So just had a little bit of lunch and I thought it might be nice to go for a drive, go to the puzzle library, return the things, ret uh, donate some things and maybe get a coffee. That sounds good. So I'll show you like the pile that I'm getting rid of. I'm not gonna go through every single thing, but I'll bring you along and see what is in the cabinets. I haven't been since they switched them over for spring. So hopefully you find some good small piece counts. This basket here is stuff that I borrowed last time. Um, I did most of them. I didn't get to this guy here, but I don't like holding on to them too long. So I'm just gonna return them. And then this box is mostly smaller piece counts. There's a couple thousand pieces that I've done um, that I'm going to be bringing there to donate. So that's my plan and we're gonna head out. So I thought since I have the garage door open, there's some light in here, I would show you where I'm thinking about storing some of my puzzles because there's tons of storage space out here that we aren't really using and we don't have too much stuff in our garage. So I'll show you my plan. They're not super pretty, but there's like this whole kitchen cabinet set. Um, there's maybe like a couple things in that drawer over there, which is like just tools. But other than that, it's empty. And so I thought I would store some of my puzzles in here that I don't mind like out, you know, it's ones that I just need for storage purposes. I don't think uh, it's going to be affected by the weather at all because this is pretty warm. It doesn't get super cold, doesn't get super damp. so. That's my plan. Um, obviously it's not super cleaned up right now um, because we've been working on it, but I think that will help with my storage problem. All right, I am home. Dave will also be home in just a little bit, but I want to show you the puzzles that I came home with. Only got two and I originally was going to go there and like show you what's inside, but the dog next door was parking so much. So I didn't get to do that, but I'll show you like a clip of what it looked like. It's very full of thousand pieces. Not too many in the smaller piece counts, which is what I like to use the puzzle library for. Um, but the two that I came home with, I'm excited for. They're both by Buffalo Games, both 300 pieces. This first one, let me see if I can cover the address. Um, <laughs> look it. So it's called Mandala Stones. And this is, I'm guessing by 
Elspeth McLean, which was one of the artists, yes it is, uh, which is one of the artists from Nationals, and I feel like this one is going to be so much fun. And then I got this one, which is called Happy Hour, and it's just a bunch of tropical cocktails. So those ones look super fun and easy, and just again, small 300 pieces. So it's much later, I'm in my jammies, and I finished the Springbok puzzle, so I'll show you what that looks like. And then we're gonna start clearing out inside here, seeing what's in there. There's really not too much, but I just feel like it's very unorganized. There are some things that are just like trash. So let's just first look at the puzzle, and then we'll do a little bit of cleaning. All right, so here is the final image. This one is called, let's see, there it is right there. I'll link it down below if you're interested. Um, but it's very hard. <laughs> this was a hard one. I actually was telling Gabriel, like, ah, I really want to quit. But this one I am doing for a sponsored post over on Instagram. So I am working with them. And this one was way challenging, much more challenging than the other one that I did. The other one I did, I loved the sunset sailing one. This one, very hard. But I feel really good that I finished it. It ended up being really beautiful. So there you go. But now we're gonna go through this here. Um, maybe I'll switch out the background today too. I feel like it's been like this for a few months now. So might be nice to change things up. I have this like, ever you like put away puzzles and then you find a piece later and you're like, oh crap. And then you just like put it on top of the box. So I'm just going to clean this out, clear this up and probably switch things out. Inside the cupboards, Really, there's not too much in here. We just have some notebooks, my sorting trays, and the bottom shelf is actually empty. So there's actually quite a bit of storage available in here. Um, and then, let's see, on this side, it's a few advent calendars, some craft stuff, but again, a lot of empty space. So we're gonna clean this up and hopefully make some room. You gotta chase it, gotta believe it You gotta go get it for yourself Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let them flow without judge There's many ways to be happy You can do whatever you like Gotta trust the right don't have to be scary You just gotta follow the light You're able to be happy You can do whatever you like You don't have to be ready You don't have to be You don't have to be ready So I was just clearing off, uh, just cleaning up, you know, and <laughs> I was like, you know what, I'm doing a little bit of decluttering, getting rid of some things that could go to that homeless shelter. Um, so I was going to quickly do this one to 
get it off my to-do list, but also that would be a great one to have there. Um, let me show you how things happened. So we have a very happy Loki right here, right on top of the pieces that I was working on. Um, bud. Oh, a sweet boy. Oh, 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 okay. Hi. Hello, good morning. What's today? Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday. I had a very productive morning. Actually, it's afternoon. It's like two o'clock. I woke up, did some cleaning. May not look it, but I did some cleaning. I also did some photos for spring block. I filmed, edited, and posted a video and did some planning for my channel. So it's been a very productive morning. Didn't take you long just because it's pretty much like me in front of a computer. Um, but I'll show you the puzzle I did last night. It's just the periodic table, the 200 piece uh, Euro graphics, just so I can now donate it. So that's the plan. Um, I do need to start an intro to a video that is going to be a randomizer chooses my puzzle, but it's one that I put them all in a hat. Well, it's a tin. Um, so I'm gonna pull puzzles out of that to figure out which puzzles to do next. So I need to film that intro and I do need to put some of the puzzles into the garage. I'll show you what I did last night. Didn't do too much, but I did, I did a little bit of organizing. Mostly focused on the shelf, um, which is all my Ravensburgers and it looks a lot better. Obviously you can see there's some space there. I have a little bit of room to grow right there. Um, these are all ones that will go into the garage minus the Clementoni right there. Um, and then I started going through this one and then lost steam. So I know there's still probably more that I'll put in the garage, but already it reduced the amount that was on the floor. I think I just have that Clementoni one left that needs to just like go on a shelf and I'll be okay. You know, a little bit of breathing room. The day should be home in a little bit. So I'll try to film at least the intro to that video. So that way this evening I can start doing the puzzle and I can... I don't really want to go in the garage right now, so that might have to be a tomorrow project. Today is the rainy day of the week. Might wait for the garage stuff until tomorrow, but I can still go through the puzzles and all that such. So that's my plan. And if you want to see the video that I just posted, I'll link it down below. It's me tackling my to-do list. It's the intro to my project. So that's my goal is to not buy any puzzles right now and just do what I got. All right, hello, it is Thursday. And I wanted to do just a little bit of puzzling. I currently have a thousand piece on the other table. And I just wanted to do something different. So I am breaking up this guy, which is the puzzle I did for the individual's finals at nationals. And I thought it would be fun to do it again now that I can actually like take my time and such. So that's my plan. I'm just going to start doing this one and I will keep together like little bits that are already together. Um, there really aren't too many. I broke it apart pretty well, but we're just gonna get to this.
I'm currently working on this gem mandala puzzle by Antelope. It is one that is going to be in a randomizer chooses my puzzle video, which I think, I don't know which one's going up first, but this is what the puzzle looks like. Um, it's a thousand pieces and it's been on my table for a few days to be honest, just cause I haven't been in the mindset to complete it. It just looks kind of busy and I really just want more smaller piece counts right now, but I'm trying to at least do a little bit today. I'm gonna continue working on this puzzle. I'll show you where I'm at towards the end of the day. Maybe I'll make some good progress. Hello, good morning, it is Saturday. I finished that puzzle last night and, well, mostly I have one piece left to put in, but I was waiting till the morning, which is the centerpiece. I'm excited for it. So um, that one was a really fun puzzle. I was a little bit intimidated at first just because it is kind of busy, but there's plenty of things to work from. Like each wedge has a very distinct like picture that you're trying to do. So once I, I don't know, just sat down and focused a little bit, it was much easier. Um, but it ended up being beautiful. I love Antelope's quality. Um, really nice, beautiful color, matte pieces, no issues with fit, and I liked it. So I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, I just left out that center piece. I did that on purpose, so that way I can do like a reel or something, but this was super fun. Like, look how beautiful that color is. It is beautiful. All right, so it is much later. We've had a pretty productive day. We went and bought a bunch of fruit trees, which hopefully they survive my black thumb. Um, and then we are about to do a game night. Dave suggested doing a game night. We're gonna try this new game that we've had for a very long time and we just unsealed it. So we'll see how it goes, but it's called Caverna. Is that how you pronounce it? Sure. And it's cave versus cave. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, wish us luck. I'll let you know if we liked it or not. But so far, I'm, I haven't read the instructions, but there's a lot of components here. Da -na 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 -na. <laughs> uh, so I won that game. There's a lot to it, and it took us, a, I feel like, longer than usual to like get on board of everything that's included. I think next time we play, I don't think it'll be that hard to get going. Yeah. I think we have a good feel of how it plays. Yeah. Um, we didn't do the expansion part just because we're, I feel like I'm a little brain dead, to be honest. That was a lot of thinking. Um, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. I don't know if that helps you at all, but um, lots of components, lots of strategy. And I can see why there needs to be an expansion because I feel like now I'm at a point where like I get how to play and I know how to like get more resources. I know how I could have beat Dave more. <laughs> no, I think I lucked out with just like the one room that I got that helped. Um, but let me show you what it looks like. So here we have like the tracker, like all the different resources. Um, this is like the cavern that I built with all the different rooms. In my cabin. That's Dave's cabin over there. Um, and then this is like, helps you track the different actions you can take and the rooms you can build. And it was very interesting. And I do think it'll be a lot easier next time. All right, so babe, what would you rate this game one through five? Just based off the one time we played. I'm lost. Yeah. It's not a good time for me to rate this game. <laughs> no, I give it, I mean, it's not hard. There's just a lot. Mm -hmm. Starting anyway. Yeah. I'd probably give it a four. I would give it a four. It is really fun. It is fun. Once you get the hang of it. It's not fun to lose, but hey. And I, can, I do think next time I would do the expansion because I feel like at this point it's been like, it gets... Because you because now you've built your place and you're not just like building research. I do think there was I wish there was a way for me, at least for the board that I had, to have more resources. Because I feel mm. like I was constantly running out. That's the whole point of picking the rooms though as you go along. I know, but yours your things got you resources but didn't get gold. Mine got me gold, but, but not resources, get resources to get the gold. Right. So you need like a good balance. But anyways, I won. I got, <laughs> I, got, I, I got 54 points and Dave got 40. Yeah. So I'd be interested to do the expansion next time, but I'm beat and we're having some snacks. Maybe watching a movie. Oh, well, it's 8.30. That's pretty good time. It's fast. We'll see. Dave might turn into a pumpkin. That's it for me for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I have no idea what I filmed. I feel like I've been here for ages. 
filming a whole bunch of random stuff, but also not quite sure. So hopefully it turned out okay. If you like this style of video, I do have a whole playlist that I'll link down in the cards or down below or off to the side of the description box, wherever it is now. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.